the mask billboard blast when street advertising can turn deadly hey guys ken here from the retro toys capace channel in malaysia on the channel today i'm checking out one of the mini play sets from mask series 3 in 1987 the billboard blast now this thing is exactly what it's advertised to be a billboard a street billboard that just so happens to open up into a weapons platform. Now the billboard itself is quite striking. On the front here, you've got the image of the Thunderhawk, while on the back, uh, there's an image here of a yellow racing car that I thought was the Goliath, but I think it's just a generic yellow racing car. Still, it's pretty cool looking. Now, as a kid in the 80s, I used to stare at this thing in the toy catalog, and I was always really impressed by the image here of the Thunderhawk, okay? Because, uh, you know, back then, it was pretty difficult to get sort of like uh, images in print okay of you know things like mass vehicles and stuff like that uh new images right and this was a very different image of the thunderhawk that wasn't uh replicated anywhere else and i didn't really have access to things like the comics and stuff like that when i was growing up so you know seeing a different image of the thunderhawk that was you know not related to something that you saw on the toy box or anything like that but the image of the actual thunderhawk that was actually on another uh toy product okay farm mask uh, that was pretty intriguing to me. On the flip of the billboard is the image of the yellow racing car, which, like I said, I always thought was the yellow racing car that came with the Goliath set, right? The Goliath truck and race car set from Mars Series 3. And uh, it turns out that uh, you know, once I actually had this thing in my hands, I realized that it wasn't the same racing car. Uh, that Goliath racing car has the number 9 on the front of the vehicle. Uh, this one seems to have the number 27 so it's a totally different race car all right but it's still a cool image here and uh actually penzoil is the name of an actual uh motor motor oil all right so it's probably one of the sponsors here so it's cool that you have uh you know an actual motor oil sponsor that's on the sticker of this toy product now this is the actual uk packaging box for the billboard blast the thing is i got this thing you know off ebay sometime in 2014 i think it was and uh you know everyone always talks about that chile find okay the canner factory find uh from i think about two years ago where they found this warehouse uh, that used to be a canner factory that had all of these sealed mass products in them and uh but actually stuff like this was happening i think you know in a way before that as well because you know sometime in about like i said 2013 and 2014 there was like this thing in asia where uh you know they found a factory with all of this stuff in there you know and i got this from a from a seller i was actually in hong kong at the time for a work trip and uh you know this was flooding all of hong kong all right so i managed to get the billboard blast sealed along with a couple of other mass uh, units and uh this one actually comes with the uh as you can see the original inserts as well okay because it came sealed you know uh, i know some people just love getting uh, stuff sealed you know together with the inserts and stuff like that uh you know yeah okay well that's great too but uh i mean if anything the inserts the cardboard inserts help to hold up the box you know a lot better during storage now the billboard blast is operated by the chilled out dusty haze all right this is dusty in his gator outfit all right but it's just been recolored a little bit for the billboard blast yeah they didn't, they didn't even bother to give him like a new outfit or anything like that so yeah you know this is basically dusty hayes recycled from gator and it's now the operator for the billboard blast now uh he comes with his mask now this mask is supposed to be a recolored uh from his gator mask the backlash uh this one's called vacuum and uh wow this thing is seen better days right it kind of looks like the hollowed out uh dart vader mask that you saw you know that was all burned out in the force awakens right uh what happened with this thing was that uh you know it sort of like hardened through the years and it cracked apart at a couple of places and uh you know the color and it changed too so yeah you know i mean i i don't really put it onto the figure anymore but yeah this is what it looks like now the stand for the billboard is mostly all light gray you know it's pretty uneventful looking uh, but there is some detailing here like these uh sculpted uh the sculpted ladder that you see here yeah you know because dusty's got to get into the billboard somehow right you know so they sculpted a ladder there for him check that out now when it comes to transforming this thing you think that there'll be like a button for you to press uh but no you just pop this thing open like the way you're opening a lunchbox or something like that okay so uh, once inside you get this uh you know a gunner station right like a seat here 
uh, with a huge uh, cannon, right? And uh, there's some detailing inside the billboard. You get uh, you know some places for you to put the mask sticker. It's uh, it's really quite uneventful, right? You get these huge turbines here, um, indicating that the uh, this billboard is in fact capable of flight. All right, yeah, it can actually be lifted off the air, sort of like a giant flying carpet billboard. Now you can get dusty seated comfortably in the in the seat here. And I guess the idea here would be that, you know, he's basically just lying uh, in wait within this billboard for like the whole day waiting for enemy agents to just pass by so you can just start shooting them. And you know what? This guy is going to be coming out blasting, okay? After like a whole freaking day of being cooped up in this billboard, yeah, he's going to be coming out blasting. That's for sure. That's for damn sure. Now, I suppose what really elevates the uh, purchase of this billboard toy is the inclusion of these two missiles. Uh, you get one that's like a really uh, chubby looking arrow headed missile and uh, another one that's also got like an arrow tip but it's a little bit more thin and slim, right? So two different colored firing missiles and this is pretty unique. Now the missiles fit into the slot that's located in the middle of the billboard. Yes, yeah, so what you gotta do is just feed it into the slot there, just like that. Did you hear a click? Yeah, nice and snug. Okay, so now this thing's ready to do some damage, all right? And you know that these old Kenner firing projectiles are just fantastic, okay? Come on, let's go. Let's go, come on, yeah, all right? You know, it, it's really satisfying, okay? These old firing projectiles on the Kenner toys, just really satisfying. All right, so now let's try the other one, the chubby one. Yeah, let's get it in there. Let's go. Let's hit some boxes. All right. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pow. <laughs> I love it, man. All right. So this is the best aspect of the toy. It shoots missiles. All right, guys. So that's the video. Overall, the billboard blast. You know, it's a pretty boring thing to play with. But uh, what makes it fun is the fact that it has two firing projectiles. Pretty generous here because, in fact, a lot of the mass vehicles didn't actually have firing projectiles. They had a lot of bombs, stuff that fell down or fell off. But firing projectiles were reserved for mainly the bigger vehicles. So it's pretty generous of them here to have two of them with this one set. So let me know what you thought of the video, guys. And I'll catch up with you again real soon with more content. Take care.